Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. Well, I have had an inquiry from a colleague about how to record a live class session in a class held using Microsoft Teams and then how to share those recordings with students who may have missed the class. And it's actually quite easy to do, so I'll walk you through the steps of doing that right now. I'm going to go into Microsoft Teams where I have a uh, demonstration live class session set up. And I'm going to go into this team uh, meeting right now. So I'll join the meeting. Now, as with some previous videos that I recorded, you are not going to see my uh, my face appearing in the block here because my webcam is currently being used to record myself in the little block that you're seeing down in the corner as I record this video. But if you want to record your class session once you are in here, you just need to click on the little three buttons under more actions here on your menu bar in the bottom and you will see start recording. And it tells you that after the meeting is over, you'll find this recording in the channel conversation in uh, on your Microsoft Teams stream. Okay, so it is recording right now. And let's say we have gone through our class session is now done. I want to stop this recording. I want to share it with my students. So I will simply click on stop recording here. And got it and I will hang up and leave this meeting. Okay, so the meeting is now over and you'll notice that there's a different meeting name listed here than the one that I had set up earlier in this video. Some of our settings changing, our configurations have changed for uh, Teams and our recordings are no longer available for download right here in your stream but you can easily get them. You can see that it tells you that the recording is available. And if I click on this button right here, the three little ellipses, I'll get an option to, uh, to share this video directly with a link here to get, to get a link to share it. But what I wanna do is to go into Open in Microsoft Stream. This is going to open up a copy of my recording in Microsoft Stream. Now you can also share your recording from here but I'm going to continue on with showing you how to get a copy of this recording that you can share uh, easily with a YouTube playlist. So the link to download this is buried a little bit. It's not quite obvious here. It's not under the share. You want to click on the ellipses here again for more actions underneath your video. And here you will get an option to download the video. So you just click on that and it will download to your computer. It has now downloaded this to my computer. So I'm going to go to my downloads area. And you'll see that there's a video file here. That's the video that was just downloaded. I want to give this a uh, an easy to recognize name rather than just video. So I'm going to rename this to ICA's transitioning to online learning course and I will give it uh, a, a date today's date which is the 19th of April and I'll save that file now what I want to do is find a way to share this file with my students you don't want to upload these video files directly into Moodle that's going to overload the servers uh, they can't handle streaming that kind of uh, resource so what I like to do is to use YouTube to do this. So I'm going to come to my YouTube channel here and I have a playlist already set up for uh, creating or for sharing team meetings for this particular course. So you can easily set up a playlist for uh, for any one of your courses. You can see I have a bunch of playlists here for different courses. You click on the uh, create or upload video. I'm going to upload and it's going to walk me through the steps of uploading this video. So I will go to my downloads area, grab this file that I had just saved. And it's going to walk me through the steps here. And this will be our recording of class meeting from 
19 April 2020. And I walk through all of the steps of um, configuring all of these different uh, configurations here that I want for this particular recording. I can add it to a playlist. So in this case, I have a playlist already for our meetings. But if I don't, I can simply create a new playlist here. And then I can give it a name for whatever course and uh, click on done. It will save it to any playlist that I pick. Configure any options that I need to in here. Add on the recording date. And I can work my way through all of these options. Configure your visibility for this. Uh, I don't necessarily want to make this public. I don't want it to be uh, searchable on Google. This is a private class meeting. So I'll just click on unlisted, hit save. The video will now be in the playlist. So how do I share this playlist uh, and these videos with my students? Well, you could go and post a link or embed a link uh, like you would with any instructional video for every single video throughout the course, but that's just more maintenance work for you. So what you want to do is actually go to your playlist itself. So if I go back to my channel, I've got my playlist here. So if I click on my playlist here, ICA Teams Meeting Playlist, I'll get a share button. Click share here. It gives you a link to share this particular playlist. You can also get an embed code. I'm just going to click the share link. In my course itself, you'll notice that I have a link here for the playlist. So I can easily add that. Turn edit on, editing on in your course. Click on add an activity or resource. In this case, you're going to add a URL. Playlist of our live class recordings. And add a little note for your students. I will upload copies of the recordings of all of our classes here. Anything else that you want to uh, configure, turn off uh, student completion uh, tracking. So my playlist link is now here. If I click on that playlist, it opens up the YouTube playlist. You can see all of the uh, recordings of all of our previous meetings here. This is the least amount of maintenance work for me as an instructor because I just need to upload our videos of all of our meeting sessions here. It's automatically available for students because they already have the link to that class session.